Breaker Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, Sitting Duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Thunderflop! Greetings, citizen. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course! It is nothing before the Murray. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Carmelita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Oh, jeez! Wait up, Sly! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. This wasn't part of the plan! Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. I tell you, Bentley, it's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your Renacucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? 
Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. I just intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to ring the boat's bell when the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. Sly, I managed to outfit this forged painting with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. The schematic indicates that door is locked from the inside. That's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Swell, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. Murray, I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stomp to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. Hold it, Koopa. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what, it takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, <laughs> we are absolutely going to work well together. Hey, Bentley, how are you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine. I'm just fine. I just need to bomb all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys 
before you take those thugs out. Sly, the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. I'm in position. Great. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Gah! So raccoonus do this. You're like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro, I see that you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out, yeah? We smooth, yeah? Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can... No deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Oh, let's dance! You take clockwork feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You... <laughs> Crack-a-box! <laughs> With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Sly, Murray and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown witch. Thanks, Sly. Now Murray and I can access the palace grounds. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. That guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. You got your tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Your tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. The only problem is, she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. All right, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry, do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté.
Are you using me to get at old Ironsides? Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. That fellow is very graceful. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Uh, silence. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela, his skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. That chopper is a menace to all future aerial operations while on this job. Yeah, it's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Okay, I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. The Murray Triumphant! Good work! The sky's all clear! Bentley, what's your status? I'm in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface-to-air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Sly, we need to find a way to get Rajan's prize elephants out of their pen. I don't know, Bentley. That door looks pretty heavy. Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. Wow, he sure looks spooked. A job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I'll need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephants' backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. Murray's rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drain pipe, so we'll need you to unlock the vault room from the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. I don't see any code. Try another table. It's here somewhere. This is it. Fantastic. Now, type the code into the vault's laser door entrance. Thanks for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. I'm unstoppable! I've got control of the winch. Thanks for the backup, guys. No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray, let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats. Which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. You look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Tell me, stranger. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I... I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! Sneak into the temple and take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of the area, 
There should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. Bingo, you found the spice-growing facility! Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. That access tube should get you up there. All right, I'll head for the top. Rajan is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. Sly, the insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. As I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. Rajan's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. According to Rajan's blueprints, you're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. I'm within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel and it'll be blown to bits. Cooper, we meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. 
I know I certainly don't. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. This is it. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And? And we're on for that date in Bollywood. There it is, just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked down tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Murray, you're on. Sly's knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way! Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stomp move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. This ruby is near flawless. I'll recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a Cherry Bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Let's head out for the turret, Murray. All right, I'll set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. All clear for my position. How are you coming on that lever, Murray? I'm working on it. Black clouds and thunderbolts, my spice temple, ruined! I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire! This place is mine! <sighs> Here I am king! Come, face me, Cooper! With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power! You are nothing! Come face the might of Rajan, lord of these hills! Boy, when we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Neela, now! Sorry. What are you doing? Oh! Sly! I'm coming, buddy! This is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours? The Murray will renew your fear! Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling! I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak! Victory belongs to the Murray! Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Oh, happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper Gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper Gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat 
gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper! You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela! Don't think I won't! Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes. Indeed. Sly, can you read me? How I miss that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah? It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. Okay, Sly. In order to get Murray out, we'll need him to get thrown into solitary confinement. That pipe will lead you to his cell block. Try to locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. Psst, Murray. Hey, Murray! Sly? Where are you? Over here, in the back wall. Sly! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. They've been forcing me to eat meals covered in spice. And I'm feeling kind of strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so, I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes. If I had to. Excellent. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. To get at Murray, I'll need you to steal two tag keys and the tank patrol schedule off of the Contessa. No problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. Sly. Those giant pipes under the bridge feed power to the prison's security systems. I'll need to cut the connection to free Murray. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. Love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. We're totally exposed. That's true. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue, the guards walk on by, then POW! I hit them from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. Sly, I need your help getting a handle on the Contessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. 
Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. A giant attack robot. Uh-huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. You see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. Oh, that looks bad. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice. And he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Ah, uh, my head! Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm, perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con- Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it! You lousy, no good head shrinker! Oh, come now, Murray. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists! Sorry, but our time is up. Ah! She's getting away! Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the Claw Gang and its spice operation. 
It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Nila gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward! You're a disgrace to Interpol! I'll make it my life's work to destroy you! Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. Hey, Murray, can you see the general from there? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way, as a projectile. Wow, that is handy. Well, well, General Clawfoot. We've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Talk, you scoundrel! <laughs> That's it! I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow! Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo! I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts! Wow! Sounds easy! Not really! Bad Mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. All right, Sly. There's your new objective. Sneak inside and smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. I've modified the imager in your binocucob to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts, then set them free down the chimney of Neela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Neela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. How are you going to hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes, well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, 
In fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the Clockwork Eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? I'll get you, Contessa! Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you! I'll get you, I'll get you. I mean it, I'll get you! Yes, yes, so I've heard. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow! No! The Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So, I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here and there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap. Then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative! That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Aha! I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up! And I mean all of them! My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita, always trying to resolve her problems with a shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! There's nowhere left to run. 
We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. That cabin may seem rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bisson's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bisson took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Jackpot, Sly. That's Jean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his trade routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a-coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be sown, you covetous troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy bass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blimp. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Lights battery, I might be persuaded to give you a peek. That'll do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes, the blimp's hypnotist wavelengths conform to the specs drawn up by the Contessa, and Dimitri, before his unfashionable capture, did a bang-up job of distributing spice through his nightclub. Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. You're correct, sir. Yours is the final piece to the puzzle, the missing link. Once the battery is aboard, nothing will stand in the claw gang's way. Paris will be ours. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, Bisson. Stiff up a lip. Ta-ta. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the Iron Horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Sly, it's... it's awful. I can't believe it. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack. And got captured by Inspector Fox! Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's... That's a good plan. Just... Don't get caught, too. I don't want to be alone again. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. 
Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Murray, I've come to break you out. Fat chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah. That's weird. See you back at the safe house. Okay, Sly. We need to break into the Iron Horse trades, but the only way in, through the caboose, is locked. To blow the locks off, you'll need to collect the ultra-unstable denatured spice gas from those balloons floating above town. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut, and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, They'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabbles should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that train. Sly, the second Iron Horse train is coming too fast. You might not have time to jump on top. Relax, Bentley. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Basson's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Hey, Cooper. Thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on? Have to call up your little friends for help? Come in, little friends. neela has got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. 
This should be a quick bit of destruction. That was some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Stand clear, Sly. This might be messy. Sly? Sly? You okay? I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blip. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Bisson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. To form a receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bisson's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Stand clear, Sly. Something else is coming out of the deep freeze. I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that, he's back in the deep freeze. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mer... The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh, well, I guess I owe ya. That lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the northern lights. We need to shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. 
Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that Northern Light attractor. It'll be slag in minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. In order to overcome Jean Bisson in the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagles' protective instincts against Bisson. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flames should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close that old Grizzle Face will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh, who, where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. 
I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my... breath. Well now, candy britches. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I... just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Miss Odd. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushin. Tarnation! I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's, uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. I, I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast! Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards! If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well... Those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed! But... By Jove! 
It seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent! Sly Cooper, of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper, no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members, all the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper, what kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights! You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp! Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri! Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous! You're my protégé! Not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... Behold, Clockla is born! Murray, it looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly. This engine room is locked down tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Walk one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the stations controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. 
The Murray will be ready to go. To disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blip. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. Look, Sly, for once let's cut the flirty chit-chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit-chat? You want a piece of me? Don't worry. There's plenty to go around. You might have a new body, Neela, but you're still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have the immortality born of pure hate, but I feel something. Some power growing within me. We... we did it. Right on! It's an emotional moment. Die, insects! Die! My hate will smash you! Watch out! That thing's still kicking. Clockla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery! I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs! Let's get out of here! She's about to explode! Ah! My glasses! What? Bentley! I'll save you! Pick me up! I, I can't walk! Come on, Sly, let's get out of here!